With the rise in interest rates, housing prices, and increasing regulation across the country, a lot of people are losing faith in finding short-term rental deals today. In fact, is it even worth it? I had a friend reach out to me and he told me, Kenny, I've been looking for over six months trying to find a short-term rental property across the entire country and I can't find anything. Help me out. So I gave him five simple steps so he could find profitable deals today. And guess what? He found a deal in less than one month. So I wanna give you the five simple steps to find profitable short-term rentals today. Let's dive into it. So one of the greatest tools that are gonna help me and help you identify profitable short-term rentals is STR Insight. So this is the best market finding tool out there. So I use STR Insights to find profitable properties and markets to invest in. Now, once signed into an account in STR Insights, I can go in and compare markets side by side. So let's use my friend's situation and determine how he can find profitable deals today in these five steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do in using STR Insights is I'm gonna look for the best markets to invest in. Typically, I like to target about 10. Now, how do I do this? In the tool, I can select my personal preferences and my goals. So step one is you need to identify your personal preferences and your ROI goals. This might also include your budget as well, if you're budget sensitive. So in the filters here, I can select the type of market I wanna invest in. So beach, mountain, ski, and so on. In my friend scenario, he wanted to be in a mountain market. He also had a budget of $500,000. So I'm gonna put this into the tool as well, okay? Now, my friend only wanted to invest in the South because that's where he lives. He wanted to be within driving distance of where he lived in Tennessee. So I'm gonna select the South and I'm gonna see all the states that are associated with the South. I can eliminate these if I choose to. Then I'm gonna select search. The top markets will then appear and be ranked by ROI. Now this is a gross ROI, which is the gross yearly revenue divided by the average purchase price of short-term rentals, keyword there, short-term rentals in the marketplace. So in this particular example, Luray, Virginia is the best market based on our criteria and goals today. So looking at Luray, the first thing I'm gonna do before I dive into any more research is I need to know the regulations of Luray. In SCR Insights, I can click the market profile and it will show me some type of regulation. But don't be fooled, you always need to do your own due diligence, whether that's calling a city, a county, or a municipality before you do any further research to verify and do your own due diligence about the local regulations and rules in a particular market. So once I've confirmed that it is possible to invest in Luray, Virginia, in this example here, the next thing I'm gonna do, which is step three after the regulation, is I'm gonna try to find what I call the sweet spot or the inefficiency in the market by bedroom count. Meaning I'm looking for the best bedroom count to invest in based on revenue and purchase price. And STR Insights will break this down for me so I can quickly determine this. You can also do this too by taking the revenue going into like Zillow or Redfin or another MLS site and comparing that to get a gross ROI. Uh, the reason why I like STR Insights is it already breaks this down for you. So in this particular case, it looks like two bedrooms in Luray have the highest ROI for the bedroom count. So once I see that the two bedroom has the highest ROI, I need to know what type of two bedroom I need to purchase. So the type of two bedroom is dependent upon four key things, the location, the quality and type of property, design and decor, and finally the amenities. So do I need to add a pool or a hot tub, game room, EV charger, any of those things? The way we're gonna determine what these are, and this is called creating a buy box, is we're gonna look at the comparable properties in the marketplace based on the location. So in this example here, I'm gonna select two bedrooms in the filter. Now I'm gonna compare the two bedrooms and identify the first key, which is the location. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the revenue percentile slider to see as many properties as possible. Okay, I'm gonna look at the clusters here and I'm gonna watch where the top properties are located. 
So let's scroll this to the right. And then we can see as I scroll to the right, it limits and shrinks the number of properties by performance. And it shows me that the top properties are actually on the river in Luray. So now I'm gonna go into a spreadsheet and create a buy box sheet. So I've got an example here that you can see based on column names. So we have market name, geographical area, bedroom count, furnished quality, interior quality, exterior quality, amenities, picture quality, and other factors. We'll go through these one by one. So in this particular case, we're looking at Luray and two bedrooms. Every single buy box criteria is gonna be based off of two major factors beyond the market name, the location and the bedroom count. So your buy box can actually change by bedroom count depending on the market and what's available in the market. So in this particular example, we saw that two bedrooms, the top two bedrooms are by the river. So if we're targeting a particular location in this market, we need to be by the river for two bedrooms. So we've got that down here. Now what I'm gonna do is click into the properties. So click into Airbnb links or VRBO links to see where the properties and what makes them special and why they're performing the way that they are. So when I click into them, I can see what type of amenities they have, the quality of pictures, the quality of the interior and exterior, the design and decor, and anything else in the listing that might be helpful. So in this particular case, this top property, we can see that the pictures aren't great. It is a nice, cute cottage. However, it, it's definitely like the furnishings aren't at a high quality. This is really important because this tells me that this isn't important to drive revenue. What's important is the location and the type of amenities that it has. This is verified by looking at other types of properties in the market and seeing similar things. This is also a nice cute two bedroom cottage. It has a hot tub, it's by the river and a, a fire pit. But once again, the furnishings and the interior quality are pretty low. And I can click through and find other properties, similar thing. Even the pictures are, are poor quality as well. Now I'm gonna document this in my buy box. So this part's a little subjective and up to you, but this will help you find deals and know what to look for in deals. So for example, I put the furnishing quality was medium to low. The interior quality was definitely low. A lot of the properties weren't updated. The exterior quality was medium. They had a hot tub. You also notice they were waterfront. That's really important and considered an amenity. They have fire pits, also important too. We're looking for similar trends and patterns in the data of these top properties. However, the picture quality was low. So I marked that as well. And then any other factors I put, it must be on the river and it has to be, it has to have a hot tub. Finally, I compare the revenue range of these properties. I can do that by just hovering over the properties here and seeing how much they make. So I'm seeing 70 all the way down to uh, 55,000 there as well. So now that I have that, now, and this is the fifth and final step to finding deals. Now I go into the MLS, like Zillow, for example, and I type in Luray. You can see here, I put in two bedrooms and I can put in my budget or I can leave it open, but I wanna see what's available in the marketplace that's on the river. So I can either circle it, remove the boundary and just draw, just draw area around the river and see what pops up for two bedrooms and let's do that. So we have a couple properties here. We have a two bedroom, two bath on the river at 512 and we have another property. It doesn't look like it's quite on the river, but it's at 354, which is an attractive purchase price. But to be successful in this market for a two bedroom, you have to be on the river in this particular buy box case. I can see this property and based on the purchase price and clicking through the pictures, I can see this is a really nice property in a good area and it will generate based on the current data somewhere between $55,000 to $70,000 in revenue. You determine whether that's a good deal or not. If it isn't, maybe you can offer a little less based on what you think the projected revenue will be for the property or you just look for something else but this helps us narrow in and quickly identify deals in a lot faster time frame than just looking everywhere and trying to evaluate properties on a case-by-case -case basis. If you'd like to learn more on how SCR Insights can help you find profitable deals, schedule a call with us. All you have to do is go to the homepage, click speak with an expert. Our calendar will pop up and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one with us and we'll help you find a profitable short-term rental.